the Pocket Operator Modular 170 ships with an LFO, a square wave oscillator, a filter, an envelope, a VCA, a speaker and output module, as well as a controller keyboard with Pocket Operator Sync and MIDI out. Let's start by listening to the sound of the raw oscillator. Take the square output and connect it to the input of the output module. Here we can hear a flat tone. The oscillator allows us to control the pitch as well as the pulse width modulation, which goes through zero. Rather than using our hands to control these parameters, we can use what's called a control voltage. Let's first connect the triangle output to the control input on the square wave oscillator. At first you will hear no difference, so let's increase the level of the control input to hear its effect. We can then adjust the rate of the LFO all the way up into the audio ring for FM modulation. Instead of using an LFO to control the pitch, we can also use the keyboard. To do this, connect CB1 to the key input of the square wave oscillator. You should hear the pitch jump. Now when you press a note on the keyboard, you should hear the pitch change accordingly. In this example, we hear one single note. If you would like to change the length of the note, we need to run the signal from the oscillator through the VCA. To do this, let's disconnect the output of the square and connect it to the VCA output. Then, reconnect our square wave output to the VCA input, making sure both gain and level are set to max. Now we can connect gate 1 to the control input of the VCA. Now a note will only sound as long as a key is held. Instead of using our finger to dictate the note's length, we can use an envelope to do it for us. To do this, we need to trigger the envelope each time we press a key. So to do that, let's disconnect the gate 1 from the VCA and instead connect it to the envelope trigger in. Then, connect the envelope output to the VCA control input. Now the length of the notes will be dictated by the envelope settings. Rather than me playing the keys, let's record a sequence into the keyboard. Hit program and then play some notes. Then hit run. Now you can adjust the envelope's ADSR. Don't forget that program mode is still active. So hit program again if you want to commit your sequence and exit the program mode. You can hit run again to stop. In this example we are hearing the raw oscillator, but we can run the oscillator through the filter to get various types of sounds. Let's disconnect the oscillator output from the VCA and connect it to the filter input. Then let's connect the filter output to the VCA input and press run on our sequence again. Now we can adjust the filter's frequency and resonance to get different sounds. We can also use the envelope shape to control the filter by connecting the envelope's second output to the filter control input and increasing its level. Thank you for watching. 